and what's up guys again thanks for joining in so today we are reviewing a large ips qhd 32 inch monitor from the firm aoc the monitor name is quite catchy check this out q3279 vwfd8 okay let's go with the specifications so for my view of point 60 by 9 aspect ratio is more than you need for space comfort also, I must say some of the games will not be as enjoyable as it would be on a 27 inch monitor. Still depends what are your needs and what are you even playing. So yeah, already we mentioned gaming. So this AFC monitor is coming with MD3 Sync technology, which matches the frame rate output of your GPU to your monitor's refresh rate. Hmm, okay. So for example, I'm playing casually Dead by Daylight and comparing with my old Dell monitor, I can really feel i can really not feel like can, i can see the difference between the color tone and the game is much much more smoother also our aoc with a big long name that i won't try to pronounce again is coming with a 75 hertz refresh rate response time of 5 milliseconds and for me the most important thing is the ips panel which produces much more greater display color and viewing angles compared for example the end panel and again another reason why i bought it are connections this monitor is full it's stacked with connections hdmi display port vgi dvi and audio output specifically headphones out you can see that we are getting hdmi display port and power cable dvi and vgi are not included okay so as far as the quality and design goes I would say minimalistic style on a good hard plastic quality stand, even though the rest of the plastic is average, but we won't complain for that price. Only thing that is missing for me is an adjustable stand and a bit bigger LED indicator that shows off and on status. Another really good thing is the flicker free technology, which utilizes direct current backlight panel reducing flickering lights levels and eye strain fatigue absolutely minimized. So guys. I'm giving a huge yes for this monitor, it has everything you need and trust me on this one, you won't find a big packed full monitor like this for the price around $200, keep in mind to take IPS panel model. So yeah, I guess that's it, thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button and see you next time, bye!